welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making the waterfall bracelet. It is extremely easy to make and I watched this how to make this on Starler Sisters. So yeah, let's begin. You'll be needing a um a clip, bands, a hook, and a loop. So let's begin. So for the sides, you'll be needing two, co three colors. Um, for these two, I'll be using the um light or mustard, mustard. And for the middle part, I'll be using orange, actually neon pink. And then we'll be needing a cap band. So for the cap band part, I'll be using white. So let's begin. What you'll be needing is your first color. And I said it was the mustard. So you're gonna not go here to there. You're just gonna go straight up to this peg. So let me zoom in a little. You're gonna do this all the way till the top. And then, yeah. that the arrow is pointing away from you. Okay, so I'm done. You should be at the last peg. Now come back here and, you, and you're gonna skip the middle peg, but you're gonna come here and use the same color you use for this side. guys can see the two bracelets I'm wearing. I'm wearing the um, X Twister bracelet and the Upsy Daisy Twisty Wisty. I'll make a video on how to make both of these. Oh, wrong color. Oopsies. Okay, so you should also stop at the last peg. So now you're gonna start in the middle. And I said that I'm using neon pink for mine. So you're gonna do the same thing for the middle. Okay, so I'm done. Now we're gonna still, we're gonna come back here. Now you're gonna skip these three pegs, these three. And now you're gonna take your other color, and I, oh, I said white. 
And what you're going to do is after skipping these three pegs, you're going to put your white. Okay, actually, I forgot this step. Push down all your bands because you will be putting more bands on the top. So remember, skip these three pegs, and now you're going to take your band, your other color, uh, and you're going to go here, there, to there. So you're kind of making a triangle. You're going to do the same thing here, to there. You're always gonna skip. You're always gonna skip pegs right here. You're gonna continue this process all the way till the end. And the way I usually do is I stretch my pegs, I mean my band, onto this peg to there. You're not going to skip these three pegs, but we're actually still making the cap band. So these are your cap bands, so it should kind of look like this. Now you're going to flip your um, <clears throat> loom over so then that the arrow is pointing away from you. And we'll start looming. So as you can see, the um, three pegs have the cap band on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hook. We're going to start on the left side. We're gonna push back the cap band, get that orange, the band underneath it, and loop it forward. Do the same thing for this side. Now here's the thing. This one, you'll just calmly take it. I'm gonna do it all the way on one side, then come back here. So you're now here, you're gonna push this back, get that bottom band. Push that back, get that back. Get that bottom band and loop it over. Here's something I use to remind myself. Push the thing, grab it, pull it over, and put it on. So kind of follow that method all the way till the end. Oopsies. All the way till the end. So um, I'm at the end. You're going to come back and do the other side. So this broke, let me just fix that. Oh, sorry you guys. Oh. Yeah, okay, so what I usually do when this happens is that I push back all the bands, get the band at the bottom, Oh, 
you know, band and pull it through like nothing happened. Okay, so I'm done. Then we're gonna come back and do the same thing in the middle. Now here's something they said. You have to bring it over the white, I mean the cap band. So kind, it already is going over. We. So your um, triangle should be kind of like pulled. They should start pulling. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this around for you guys to see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the left side. I usually do this with my hands. You're gonna grab on to those two. Ooh, wow, that's moving. Uh-oh. Okay, just a second. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna hold this down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up and move it to the middle pen. Okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna pick it up, move it, move it to the middle pen and push it all down. Now usually we would do this the other way, but I'm just showing it to you this way. Now what we're gonna do is put our hook so let me just shift it over here we're gonna put our hook in the middle and we're gonna take an extra band we're gonna put it on the hook we're gonna pull it through and yeah i'm gonna leave my hook there we're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna slowly take it so now make sure that you're, um, before even taking it all off, make sure that, um, that your, um, all of your bands are looped. That's what I'm looking for, like glued together. Now I'm in the middle, so what I usually do is I tug in all of these. Come on. Okay, so we're done. We're gonna, f we need an extension for this, like always. And this is our uh, cap band. So what we will be doing is making our extension. So you can use the same colors you used. That's what I'm going to do be doing. And you're gonna make a chain based on your wrist stuff. Now make sure that the, um, arrow is pointing away from you. My wrist size, um, when I made the upsy daisy one, I used about 10 of these, and it fits perfectly, no loose, it's not too loose, or too tight. But I'll be using six today. Actually, yeah, six. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the band on your hook and put it from there to there, just to make your extension. So now you would see that this kind of looks like the other bands, but this is already double. So we're gonna flip this over. We're not gonna start here, but we're gonna start here. You're gonna grab that bottom band and loop it over. Kind of make like a chain. This is a good practice if you guys don't know how to make a chain. This is actually a very easy bracelet to make it for beginners. And it includes a ton of um, chains, so it's perfect. I mean, yeah. Now you're gonna take your clip. I'm using an S-clip today, because I ran out of 
um, C clips, and now you're gonna put your clip and hook it on to those two bands. And you're gonna take it, oops, pull off. So now you're gonna find your cap band, which is this. And you're gonna, you're gonna, sorry, I didn't pay attention. You're gonna put it into the other side of your clip, and. This is extremely comfy and cool to make. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and I'll see you next time with the sweetheart bracelet. Okay, actually the la ladder bracelet. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time with the most easiest bracelet. Mine's broke, but we'll make ours sturdy. Bye, guys.